Hello everyone, I'm Paul and today we're solving problem 3003, maximize the number of partitions after operations. This is a reasonably hard one, and next I will show you how to solve this step by step. We are given a string s and an integer k. Let's say this is the string, k is 2, and let's forget about this part for now. We need to do this operation until the string is empty, and the operation goes as follows. We need to choose the longest prefix containing at most k different characters. Here k is 2, so we need to choose the longest prefix with 2 or less different characters. And here that prefix is the entire string. We have 2 different characters in total. The next step is to delete this prefix. So we delete this and here we have one partition in total. The thing is down here. We need to get the maximum number of resulting partitions after changing at most one index to another character. In this case, we can change this to another character. Let's say we pick B. And now we do this operation until the string is empty. So we are picking the longest prefix with two or less different characters and that prefix right now is this one. So we remove this, we have one partition here, we repeat this operation, now the longest prefix with at most two characters is this one. Here we have another partition, we remove this, we repeat the operation, now this is the prefix, we remove this, here we have another partition, finally we return 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3. And for this input, 3 is the maximum number of possible partitions that we can get after changing at most one index and applying this operation until the string is empty. So let's see the choices here. If we start with this string and we are iterating this from left to right, first we are at this character and we basically have two choices. We can keep this character as it is, so we get the same string, A, C, 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 A, or we can change this character to some other character, for example, B, and in this case, the remaining string will be C, 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 A, or we can change this to C, or to D, or to E, and so on, okay? And this is only for index zero. Now, if we go to index 1, meaning we are here, well, we have many choices. We can keep this character as it is, so we get A, C, 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 A, or we can change this to um, A, so we get C, C, A, or to B, or to D, or to E, and so on. And for each of these scenarios at index 1, we also have many choices. So as you can see, we can have different possible scenarios. And the main observation is that we can try all of them. Why? Well, because how many subsets can we have of different characters? And let's see how to answer this. We can have A, B, C, D, E, and so on. We can have A or not have A. So here we have two choices. We can have B or not have B. Here we have two choices. Here we have two, two, two. And the total number of combinations here is given by two times two times two times two times two and so on, 26 times. Because we have 26 characters. So we have two to the power of 26 different possible combinations. So we can try every possible scenario and store every combination of different characters in a binary number of at most 2 to the power of 26. And this is called bit masking. So let's see how this works. Let's say we have a mask that's initially 0 or this in binary. Remember that in binary numbers, Position 0 corresponds to 2 to the power of 0, position 1 is 2 to the power of 1, and so on. And we are using position 0 for character A, position 1 for B, 2 for C, 3 for D, and so on up to C, 
which corresponds to 2 to the power of 25. Now, we want to store the state for characters that we have already seen in this mask. So let's say we are here and we want to add this to the mask. We go to position 0, meaning here, and we change this to 1. And what this one represents is, up to this moment, we have seen only character A, okay? And this is how we can keep track of all the characters that we've seen for any scenario in at most 2 to the power of 26. So we can start from index 0 and explore every different scenario with a state. And we are carrying the following in the state. We have a mask that's initially 0 and a boolean, we will call this change, that's initially false. We are using this to keep track of the only opportunity we have to change a character. And we start from index 0. And from this initial scenario, we can move to this scenario, which is we can keep this character as it is, meaning we don't take our chance to change a character. And the new mask is the previous mask plus the current character. So remember, we are using position 0 for A, position 1 for B, this is C, this is D, and so on. Even that here we have an A, we add 1 at position 0. And we are not taking the opportunity, so this stays at false, and we are at index 1. Now, we could take the opportunity to replace this with a different character. Let's say we pick B. The new string in this case would be B, C, 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 A. So we need to add this to our mask. So we take this mask and we add B. Remember, this position is for A, this is B, this is C, and so on. That's why here we have a 1. So um, now we are taking the opportunity. So this is now true. and we are at index 1. Now if we replace this with C, for example, we will get this mask. Here, this position is for C, that's why here we have a 1. A string in this case would be C, 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 A, and so on. Okay, so we can have um, about 25 uh, different scenarios plus one different scenario and from this scenario here we have this opportunity available so we can have 26 more different scenarios and from each of these the opportunity is no longer available so we can have um, only one scenario which is to pick this character and the same here so as you can see we can explore every possible scenario with this state. And now the question is, what's the base case here? And remember, we are trying to get the maximum number of partitions. So whenever we reach the end of this string, we know we have one partition for sure. It doesn't matter if we pick every character in the string or if we only pick the last one or, or the last two, it doesn't matter. If we reach the end of this string, we have one partition for sure. So our base case will be whenever i is equal to n, we just return 1. So let's say we are only exploring this branch. Here, remember, we are choosing to replace this with b, so this is the new string. And the we we are standing at index 0 and we are about to move to index 1 so we are here the current mask is this remember position 1 is for b so here we have a 1 c stays a true because we have already used the opportunity to change a character and next we are moving to index 1 so next we are here at index 1 the mask right now has only B and C, these two characters. So here we have one and one. C stays a true, next we are moving to index two, we are moving here. The mask stays the same, this is still true, 
and next we are moving to English 3 we are moving here the mask stays equal we only have two characters here and C stays a true next we are moving to index 4 we are moving here and now we are standing at the index 4 and right now our mask includes characters D, C and A that's why here we have 1, 1 and 1 given that we have 3 set bits and 3 is greater than K we need to build a new partition this is the previous partition this is the new one so instead of using this we are creating a new mask with only this element so this is 0, 0, 0, 1 remember this position is for character A this stays a true next we are moving to index 5 and given that we are building a new partition here we need to add 1 to the result for this scenario so we will keep this in mind and next we move to index 5 and given that 5 is equal to n here we can just return 1 so we return 1 here we add 1 from here so this will contribute 2 here and we'll keep the maximum every time so this will contribute 2 this will contribute 2 and this will contribute 2 and what this 2 represents is from this string we can get two partitions this and this okay and remember the problem description we need to return the maximum number of partitions that we can get so we can explore every branch every different scenario and we keep the maximum value that's how we reach number three and we return this remember this free corresponds to change this character to something else that's different from C and A. Let's say we pick B. And by doing this, we have one, two, three different partitions. Okay. So this is the entire approach. If this is the first time you see a problem with bit masking and dynamic programming, this one might be tricky. But I recommend you to try to take this step by step and understand everything because this will be useful for future problems so with this in mind let's go with the code first we need to build our dp function so we will call this dp and this takes three arguments mask change i remember we are using change to keep track of the only opportunity we have to change a character this is initially false our base case is if we reach the end of the string we have one partition so we return one so if i is the length of string return one now we need to get the maximum number of partitions we can get so we can say best is initially zero and we return best here in between we have basically two options we can continue with the current character or we can try new characters let's say we continue with the current character the code for the current character will be the code for s at i minus the code for a and these are a s c i i codes if you know what this is i recommend you to go and google it it's very important for example if s at i is a this entire thing will return zero okay now with this we can get the new mask we need to take the current mask and add this code to the current mask how can we do this well we do mask bit voice or one left shift current and now we can check if the new mask dot um sorry this is bit count if the amount of bits in the new mask is smaller or equal to k this means we can stay in the same partition in this case best is the maximum between best and dp with the new mask we keep change as it is and we move to the next index else this means the amount of bits in the new mask is greater than k we need to start a new partition so here we do best 
is the maximum between best and DP with a new mask which includes only the code for the current character. This is one left shift current. And we keep change as it is. We move to the next index. And given that we are starting a new partition, we need to add one here. So now we can try these scenarios in which we try new characters. So if not change, meaning we have our opportunity to change a character available, we try different characters. So for Shay in range 26, if Shay is the code for the current character, we just continue because we are trying to replace the current character and new mask is the same as before. We are repeating the same here. This is the current mask, bitwise or one left sheet J. And now we can check if new mask dot bit count is smaller or equal to K. Best is the maximum between best and DP with the new mask. And now we are changing this to true, meaning we are taking this opportunity to change a character. So this is true and we move to the next index. Else, this means we need to start a new partition because the amount of bits that are one is greater than k. So best is the maximum between best and dp with a new mask, which includes only the current character, meaning one left shift j, and we change change to true. So this is true. And we move to the next index. And given that we are starting a new partition, we need to add one. And here we return best. Now we have our DP function and we can just return DP. The mask is initially zero. Change is initially false, meaning the opportunity is available. We start from index zero. So this is the entire code. Now let's submit this and see if it works. I'm missing something very important, which is we need to cache the result for every combination of mask, change, and I, because we can have repeated scenarios and we want to avoid repeated work. So with this, now it should work. Let's submit this again. As you can see, this works and it's very efficient. Here, time complexity will be big O of the maximum size for the mask which is given by 2 to the power of 26 times the amount of values that we can have for this boolean and it's a boolean so this is 2 times the amount of indices we can have which is given by the amount of characters in the original string we can say this is n and this is times 26 um, possible characters for every change that we try so this is 26 and space is big O of all of this. The state that we are caching, this is two to the power of 26 for the mask times two times N. So this is it for the problem. If you found this useful, please drop a like, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye bye.